Hey, stick around. I'm going to show you some helpful tips for using the Godot game engine. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is a quick show of 10 things that I found useful to know about the Godot game engine. These are mostly beginner tips and talk about some of the basic features of Godot, but even if you are a longtime user of the game engine, you might still find some of these things listed here as useful. So let's get going. For debugging purposes, under the Debug tab, you can toggle on collision boxes so that they can be seen in-game. After adding a particularly large node to your game, or just anything that you don't want to move because you know you have it where you want it, hit this lock symbol and you won't be able to accidentally click on it. If you have a bunch of one thing in your notes, for example in my game I usually have a bunch of lights that I've copied and pasted, then by using a normal node with a good name, you can make all your items children of that node and organize your nodes much like a file system, where things are collapsible, save some space and stuff. Grid Snap can be turned on with this button, and you can change its parameters with this button for much more precise positioning. With your grid snapping, it may be useful to know that you can toggle on and off an offset attribute for most nodes. This will decide whether the position of your node is in the center or in the upper right hand corner of the image that may represent your node. Once you have a nice asset created with tons of nodes making it what it is, it can be useful to turn on this tool on the parent node so that if you need to move it, you can do so without having to move every node one at a time. By right clicking on a node, you can change what kind of node it is with this change type option. This can be useful because then you don't have to move all of its children around with deleting and making new nodes. If you have more than one scene in your game and you're working on a scene that is not the default starting scene, then you can hit the play current scene button to play the current scene. Kind of obvious, I guess. I did say these were simple tips. If you have a really large scene with lots of stuff in it and you want to find a particular one, you can double click on the image of the node and it will set focus on that node. Also, for really large scenes, infinite scrolling. Instead of doing this, you can do this. At least until your mouse cursor falls off the edge of the table. Let me know if you would like to see even more beginner tips, or maybe some more advanced tips. I'm down for whatever. Otherwise, as far as these 10 tips go, Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more, you know what to do. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment, question, or suggestion down below, or you can even shoot me an email. Any feedback is much appreciated. Thank you so much.